If you think crime in Chicago is bad right now, wait till January 1st when the Safe T Act goes into effect. The entire state of Illinois is gonna be a war zone. I'm not sure what these politicians were thinking when they were writing this legislation because all this is going to do is make it dangerous to live anywhere in Illinois. I don't care how nice your neighborhood is. I don't care how much police you have on the street because the police, their hands are going to be tied because this safety act is going to allow criminals to run wild and do whatever they want and the police are not going to be able to do anything about it. The courts are not going to do anything about it. So any citizen living in this state, you're on your own. You better arm up, go to the range, practice, target shoot, because you're going to be the one that's protecting your business, your home, your family. Because, again, the police are going to be out there, but their hands are going to be tied. And they're going to tell you, you're on your own. Do what you gotta do. Watch this video of the sheriff talking about the safety act because it's unbelievable. 23, the following things will go into effect and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Orland Park, Cook County, and Illinois. So who actually voted for these politicians and whoever did vote for them, I'm pretty sure that they got to be pissed off. This act that goes into effect January 1st is going to... these. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. These are going to be non-detainable offenses. They are going to eliminate cash bail and they're going to let all these criminals back on the street with no repercussions. Aggravated battery, DUI, fleeing, arson, drug-induced homicide, intimidation, kidnapping, my favorite, second-degree murder, and threats to public officials. What are these politicians doing? Like, what are they thinking to make them say, you know what, this is a great idea. We know a lot of these criminals are indigent. They don't have the money for bail. So whatever crime they commit, let's just let them go because you know what they'll 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 learn their lesson. They'll get arrested. We'll tell them, you know what? We don't you don't have any money. We understand that we're gonna let you back on the street. Just please try to be good. And they're going to let them go. They're going to let them go. So if you own a business in Illinois and somebody burns it down and gets arrested, they might stay locked up for 24 hours <clears throat> back on the street. Somebody gets murdered, unintentionally murdered, second degree, slap on the wrist, back on the street. Somebody kidnaps one of your loved ones or someone you know, back on the street. What the hell is going on? I thought Lori Lightfoot was a demon in Chicago, the one who thrives on crime and then swears up and down that Chicago is bustling with activity. Who are these politicians? And where did they come from? And what makes them say, you know what? Fuck the citizens of our state. Let's just let all the criminals run free and let the cops sit on the sideline and do nothing. Because that's essentially what they did. They are giving the criminals all the rights and giving the victims no rights. 
If something is robbed from you when the person is caught, you'll never get it back. You'll never get restitution for it. Again, if your business is burned down, you're on your own. Hope you have insurance because the state's not going to help you. The state's not going to prosecute the person who burned it down. This is a political arena that we live in today. This is the kind of shit you would expect coming from Congress, from Schumer and Pelosi, and then Sleepy Joe sitting down signing it. But no, this is at the state level. This is at the state level. These are the politicians basically campaigning and making signs saying, vote for me, and especially if you're a criminal, vote for me, because you're not going to get in any trouble if you commit a crime, a dangerous crime, kidnapping, murder, DUI if you hit and injure or kill somebody. No worries. No worries. You're back on the street to commit more crimes. This is the United States of America today. Again, this is the woke culture that these, these people have adopted to say, fuck the average citizen, fuck the law abiding a citizen, the one who goes to work every day to try to keep a roof over their head and food on the table for their families and let them have a good life. Forget them people, forget them. The indigent criminal has more rights than you do. They are on the street to steal your shit, steal your cars, kidnap your loved ones, burn your businesses, kill people, Drive drunk with no repercussions, nothing, nothing at all. And apparently it's passed already and January 1st, 2023, it's going to go into effect. And also, like you heard the sheriff say, even if someone is on monitoring, bail monitoring and they take off, the police can't do anything for 48 hours. They can't even initiate a search for this criminal for 48 hours and like the sheriff said you could be in Alaska by then you have no rights as a citizen anymore especially in Illinois now I for one can see this happening in other blue states because they're all about taking care of everyone but the tax paying people who live there all you can figure is if these nitwit politicians are going to run for re-election they would all get destroyed because who, who in their right mind would actually sit down and think they're sitting at dinner with their family. You know what? This is a great idea. All the criminals are going to be all set and they're talking to their kids. So, you know, you want to go be a criminal, go ahead because you won't get to go to jail. You'll be right out on the street just to commit more crimes, steal more shit, make more money, use more drugs, do whatever you want to do. This is the political United States of America where the elected so-called officials do not care what happens in their communities. I've always said that people get into politics because they got such a big ego and makes them feel important. In the state where I'm from, they get license plates that say Senate or House and they drive around. Look at me, look how important I am. You can stick that license plate in your ass if you're doing nothing for the state you supposedly represent. But that's why people get into politics. They do not care about the so-called constituents that they serve, even though they'll campaign and preach, I'm gonna do this for the better, I'm gonna do this for the good of our community. They are all full of shit. Any political party, Democrat, Republican, Independent, Green Party, Climate Party, whatever fucking party's out there, they don't care. People get into politics for self-centered bullshit to help themselves and their circle of close allies. That's it. If you're a son state level, they get into politics, hopefully give their buddy who has a construction business, maybe slide them a few contracts, make them some money, right? That's all it's about. Safety, education, they could care less. They could care less. They're letting teachers teach kids that there's 76 fucking genders. They're letting them look at pornographic material in third grade. They're letting boys dress like girls in schools. They're putting litter boxes in classrooms because some kid says he's a cat and he wants a meow. This is the country we live in. People need to wake up and see where we're going. 
because we're getting closer and closer to a dictatorship that you will one day have zero rights. You won't be able to work, and if you do, the government is going to take your paycheck and they're going to throw you a bone every month just so you can live, borderline. You will have nothing. They want you to do nothing. They want to make the rules, and everybody else can basically have a shit sandwich and like it. That's what it's about. It's about big egos from nitwit people who have nothing better going on. And I don't care if they're attorneys or businessmen or this or that. Anybody who's a politician has zero morals, cares nothing about anyone but themselves. I've seen it all too many years, especially where I live. And now we're just seeing it all over the country. But this act, the Safety Act in Illinois, is one of the most disgusting pieces of legislation to ever come out of any state house anywhere in the United States. Giving the criminals free reign to terrorize these communities, rob, steal, murder, burn, drive drunk, threaten people, kid. they're giving them free reign. And we know all the jails right now that know about this are like they're clapping because they know as soon as they get out, they're back in business. They're back in business. So again, arm yourself. Go to a range. Learn how to use a firearm because the police will come, but they're not going to help you because they're going to be told not to. You are your first line of defense now. You have to protect your business, your property, your home, your family. No one else is there for you. If they got to wait 48 hours to go after a criminal who said cut his ankle monitoring bracelet off for bail, <clears throat> what good is it? Like the sheriff said, they're gone. They're long gone. And when they catch them, they're only going to let them out again. So I always like to say this, just pay attention. Pay attention to this shit because wherever you live, it's coming. It's coming to a state near you. It's coming to a city near you. Politicians do not care about anyone but themselves. It starts in Washington, D.C., and it flows down to all the blue states in our country. This is what kind of, this is the America they want. They don't want the American people to live free like we always have and have rights. Because under blue politics, you have no rights. And if they get their way, again, there will be a dictatorship in the United States someday where you will get a stipend every month to barely live and you're going to have to like it because there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. And that's it. It's unbelievable, but this is where we live. If you haven't already liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified. You'll never miss the video. Share my videos with people, if you will. I hope every, <coughs> excuse me, I hope everybody's healthy and safe and I'll see you soon with something else. Have a great day.